Space, as beautiful and wondrous as it is, it's deadly. It's not a place for humans, and those who go there take great risks. I was commissioned to write a piece of music to celebrate the 60th anniversary of NASA. The piece I wrote is called Voyage. The idea of people exploring for good, that to me is very inspiring. Academy Award winning composer, Michael Giacchino. To be commissioned from NASA to write a piece of music is even crazier than I, the fact that I got to do <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, like it's even crazier than all of those things sort of happening. This is even bigger than that uh, for me because this involves the whole world. When I was a kid, I found myself with these series of obsessions, Muppet Show, Star Trek, and I wouldn't just like them. I would be obsessed with them. Live long and prosper. Same with Star Wars. I would try to learn as much as I could about how they did it. And I still can remember watching King Kong for the first time and just being like, what is this? I just loved that movie as a kid so much. I used to record the movies on a tape recorder when I'd go see them. And I would listen to them at night. I would put the speaker underneath my pillow because it brought fantasy to life. And that sort of became my MO. I just love that idea of bringing fantasy to life. This is such a, a gift that I have been given in order to write something in honor of NASA. Music is an incredibly powerful weapon. There's just a great escape that can happen. It's this weird thing that comes from inspiration and emotion and feeling. I have to be affected emotionally in some way or else I can't write music. I can't just manufacture music. It doesn't work that way. I was two years old when they landed on the moon. My dad took pictures of the television screen. I still have those photos. I treasure those photos. And as I got older, I started following the other launches. I would literally run home if I knew that either one was going to land or one was going to take off. It's been one of the great joys of my life, really getting an inside look at what goes on over at NASA. I was able to go into the, the final space shuttle launch. Me and my son went. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a roll. Roger roll. And it was just such a, one of my favorite moments ever. Just so inspired by them and the fact that it's all for good. The piece I wrote is called Voyage, and it's really a reflection of so many of the thoughts I had as a kid growing up. I always wondered, what goes through a person's head when they wake up in the morning and they know that they're about to strap themselves to a rocket and get shot into space? You know, from the moment they open their eyes that morning to the moment they're taken out to the pad, to when they're strapped in, to when they're set off, to when they are floating, to when they're then on their way to the next thing, and then on their way back home. This is sort of a thought about people who take voyages, whether it is in space, whether is it across the ocean, whether it's across the nation. 
I can't help but think that the beauty of space, the beauty of exploration will always outweigh the dangers, um, the deadliness of space. And I think it will keep people wanting to reach further and further uh, to see what's out there. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win.